So we're gonna do a quick cure on some crane breasts. Um, they're gonna sit in the uh, refrigerator for about 10, 12 hours. And then tomorrow I'm gonna smoke them and then thin slice them and they'll be just like bacon. Um, this is a pretty simple cure. It's just one part tender quick to one part brown sugar. I'm using light brown sugar today. You can use uh, the darker brown stuff. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just trying to, to keep the sweetness down. This already has a little bit of sugar in it, but I just want to sweeten it up a little bit before uh, once it cures and then uh, we'll get it on the grill tomorrow. So, so I'm doing one cup of each. I'm going to put it in this bowl just so I can mix it up with the brown sugars sticking a little bit. So I'll just do a quick 50-50 mix there. And this is a lot because I have the breasts from two different cranes. Um, if you're just doing uh, a half of one or that, you'll want to cut this back because a little, little bit of this will go a long way. This is a dry cure versus a wet cure. So, And what this is going to do, this mixture, is it's going to infuse it with the salt and nitrates to cure it. Um, and give it that really pretty color that it usually has um, and extract some of the water as well. So, so all I'm going to do is just take some of this mixture here. I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the, the breasts here. We want to make sure we get both sides really good, get all the little nooks and crannies. And if you paid attention in science class, the extra sugar helps with osmosis, which is the salt getting past the cell walls. So, and I don't want to stack them on top of each other. I just want to make sure we've got them really well coated. And tomorrow we'll be roasting it with, uh, we'll be smoking it with some pecan wood. And there'll be a, a good amount of liquid in the bag when you, when you pull it out here. All right, and then they're ready to go into the refrigerator. Well, now back for part two. We're gonna get the crane breasts out of the fridge. And you can see, you can see a lot of that liquid. And these breasts are a little, little firmer than they were when we put them in. There's a lot of liquid. So now we're gonna take them to the sink and rinse them off. Um, we'll get all this off, do a little bit of seasoning to it, and then we'll put it out on the smoker. Pat these dry here. Get some of that moisture off. And they can still be a little moist, but I want them to be dry to really take in some of that smoky flavor. We're gonna put them on the smoker and bring them up to about 140, 150. Um, we're gonna smoke with a little pecan wood. But what I'm gonna do to season it is I'm gonna add some pepper. Give it a little spice. I kind of like all those pepper bacons. So we'll take them out now, get the smoker fired up and uh, we'll get started. So we're back with this. You can see out in this light, this pretty deep magenta color and that cure is gonna help keep that uh, even when it cooks so it won't go all the way through even if you were to overcook it um, where they'll normally like gray out like any of your beefs or things like that. This little kettle smoker has some uh, little water pan in the bottom for moisture. Help keep these things a little moist while they're cooking. And then I'll throw in some wet pecan here in just a minute. So the pecan has kind of a nice medium between that really heavy hickory or that really light like fruit woods, apples and cherries. So, and you can see we're actually on the low end temperature wise once it reaches about 140 to 150 like kind of kind of somewhere in the middle there um, that's when we'll pull them off so I'm looking for exactly on that digital read thermometers if you have one of those those quick sticks that you can just poke it in find out temperature I'm just trying to cut down on the number of times that I have to poke a hole in this so I want to keep the moisture inside uh, with the electric thermometer I went uh, had it in one of the breasts took them out at 145 we smoked them with pecan because I didn't want the real heavy taste like hickory or mesquite. Uh, and the lighter flavors like apple and cherry uh, were just kind of too light, so that pecan's a nice middle of the road. Best thing about it is you can eat it hot and fresh, straight off the grill. 
Um, I really like it that way. Also, you can go ahead and throw it in a plastic Ziploc bag, um, put it in the refrigerator, or save it for later, and then reheat it in a pan or just eat it cold. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And what you want to do is cut it across the bias in thin, thin strips. Uh, a lot of the muscles on a bird tend to go at a strange angle, and especially true for cranes. So just to give it that nice profile, and like I said, that cure gives it, it still keeps that really pretty magenta color. And so you want to see that. It has that really beautiful magenta color in the middle. It goes all the way throughout. And then we have that nice kind of outer smoke ring and that cured product there. And so we'll just cut it across the bias there. Nice thin strips. And I try to get these about as thin as I can. It's really pretty though. And it tastes amazing. That's about it. Like I said, it's it's cram bacon. It's pretty straightforward. It's an easy charcuterie project to do at home. It works well with geese or ducks, any of the red meat birds. Crane tastes a lot different than those two birds, um, and which is why it gives this kind of a unique flavor uh, in terms of curing it. Um, it has a little bit of jerky quality when it's cold like this, but still nice. Uh, and if you want to heat it up, I always recommend adding a little bit of butter to a skillet because um, that helps out a lot with some moisture. Mm. Mm. Good. Just perfect, yeah. We got some other people feeling. <laughs> <laughs> got to steal a taste. Cameraman taking one, taking two. Wow. I've never Just cooked over the before, man. Mm. That is. Why are we hunting deer? Yeah. <laughs> How many? I gotta get in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, what do you think? Oh my God! Isn't that amazing? That does not <laughs> taste like a bird. No. <clears throat> if anyone would have told me that crane would taste this good, I'd have said, not a chance. <laughs>